Hi, this is Susan Grisanti again. This is part two of our series on the world's best guitar exercises. This is chromatic octaves. So before you noticed we had the spider in part one, keeping each finger inside its respective fret. We're going to do that again with uh, chromatic octaves. This time instead of one note at a time as in the spider, we're going to do two notes at a time in octaves. So first finger will always be on first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, fourth finger, fourth fret. And this is regular tuning, so we're going to start on 6th string open and 4th string 2nd fret E. And below the video I mark down the uh, each note in each fret, so you can uh, go ahead and check that out and you can follow along. So we've got E, then F, F sharp, and G, and G sharp, and A, A sharp, Why is this important to practice? Well, there are many reasons. First of all, it's establishing the legato between two fingers in any combination. So this gives you all the combinations, or actually most of the combinations of two fingers, smoothly transitioning. Also, as in the little spider exercise, it helps train you not to do flyaway. Now if I do flyaway on this, it would look like this. The fingers that aren't playing are flying away. That's what you want to avoid. That's what slows you down. No flyaway is this. All the fingers nice and even. And the previous note keeps sounding until the next note is placed down. So it actually has to be very accurate timing to achieve that. So that's chromatic octaves, and I hope you work on those. It'll really improve your technique, improve your stretches, and improve your legato. So be sure to check out more of this video and uh, my website, SusanGrisani.com. Thank you.